Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Madeline. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking fall 2020 fashion trends. This is my favorite video of the year to film. I'm so excited. Um, all these trends I've pulled from either Instagram to just doing my own research or looking at the runways. In my next video, I'll be doing more of a haul of all the pieces that I've gotten recently from mainly Zara, Aritzia, ASOS, but in this one I'll talk mainly about the trends and what you guys can be on the lookout for when you're shopping around this time of year. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram at Madeline A. Woods where you can see how I style more of these pieces. I'm going to be looking at my phone a little bit. That's where I wrote all this down, but the first one that I wrote down is oversized flannels and button downs. So I've seen especially the word shacket comes to mind, a shirt jacket. And there's a million ways you can style this. You can either belt it or just wear it open with sweatpants and a t-shirt. You Basically what I'm trying to say is you can dress it up or down. It's such a versatile piece and I think it's perfect for when it's not like too cold outside yet, but um, you also just want something cute you can throw over. I'm really liking the kind of like boyish vibe of it, especially if you're belting it, you could put it with like heeled booties. But if you're going for more of a casual look, just wear it, you could wear it as a dress with like combat boots or chunky um, boots or sneakers. The next trend I wrote down is prep. So blazers, plaids, vests. This is actually one that I got from H&M um, and you can wear this either obviously on its own like I am right now. And I also have a lot of oversized button downs that I've gotten. And so you could put that underneath it when it gets chillier outside and have the collar popping out the top. Um, and then a lot of the button downs that are oversized, you can wear it more as a dress and then you could pair that with like a chunky boot. So that's mainly what I've been seeing as far as prep. Also a lot of pleated skirts. You could do either like a plaid pleated skirt, leather pleated skirt, and then blazers always are a wardrobe essential in the fall. But yeah, so those are mainly the prep trends I've been seeing. Let me see if I'm missing anything. Oh, and slacks. A lot of oversized slacks, cigarette pants. I've been seeing that a lot at Zara. That's still one thing I actually haven't gotten yet that I really need to get my hands on. Next I have is chunky boots. So either like flat, army boot or almost what I've also been seeing is almost like a rain boot looking style. So I think Prada is where this originated from. I'll insert a picture of the ones that I'm talking about. This was starting last year too. And so I have a pair um, that I'll insert a clip of me wearing right here, but yeah, so really just the chunky boot. You can style this with a bunch of different ways. I know last year it was mainly with like the puffy sleeved, really girly look, but this year I'm seeing a lot of with the prep look. So doing a lot of the chunky boots with the oversized vest and oversized button downs. And that's been a really cute look. I've been seeing a lot with street style, especially on Instagram. Staying on shoes, I wanted to mention the square toe. So square toe has been in for a couple years. I've had this one pair of booties that I've been wearing for a couple years that I just, that's when that square toe was right coming in style and it's like knew it was gonna be a thing. Um, but also, what do I have written down? But also like strappy heels, all different sorts of boots. I have a pair coming in the mail today from Zara. They're really cool. I'll see if I can insert a clip here. Um, but yeah, so just any type of square toe, whether it's a heel, a boot, it's just such a cool like 90s vibe and I just don't see it going anywhere and it's just, I love it. I don't know why. I just love it so much more than like a rounded toe. It just looks so chic. Next, I wrote down cropped and mega cropped cardigans. So there's kind of two looks I'm thinking of when I wrote this down. One, I'll insert a clip of me wearing. I just got it from Zara. And at first you look at it and you're kind of like, why? Like, why would anybody wear this? But it's actually a cool concept because if you have like a nice cami, or not cami, but like a nice tank top or tube top that you really like, putting this over it would just kind of make sense um, because it would keep you warm. And then also it just looks really cool and it's a cool trend I've been seeing. And then also I've been seeing a lot of little like shawls. Um, I know Lauren Elizabeth had one in one of her, um, I think it was her fall styling video too. But yeah, I think it's a cool look, especially if you have something that you might be too cold in, but you don't really want to have to wear a big coat over. This would be a cool one to pair with like a little slip dress or like I said, a tank top. This one is not groundbreaking because I feel like we do a lot of neutrals and deeper tones in the fall anyways, but I wrote down jewel and nature tones. So for nature tones, like creams, browns, 
black obviously army green um and then for jewel tones like kind of grayish blues really deep almost like brownish reds i've been seeing a lot um and since a lot of those are neutrals it's a lot easier to mix and match things um than it would be if everything was like an orange and a pink i was just looking at my list and i straight up skipped over two really big trends one is the trench coat oh my gosh i i mean we've all been seeing we've all seen this detective looking trench coat like our whole lives it goes back to sherlock holmes but i think this is the coolest look i like it a lot over sweatpants weirdly i think it's a really cool street style look but then obviously you can put it over jeans or really any outfit but i just got the cutest one from misguided i'll insert a picture of it but it was actually way too long on me i'm 5'4 so i'm not super short but i'm not super tall and this one went all the way down to the ground so i don't have it with me right now or i'd insert a clip but it is so cute so yeah i took it to the tailor to get it hemmed a little bit up so it wasn't like a ball gown on me but yeah the trench coat is just super cool next this other one that i accidentally skipped over i wrote down 70s so a lot of fringe especially fringe coming off of those shackets i was talking about um fringe coming off of boots and also crochet i've seen a lot of crochet especially when i've been looking on the zara website like a very crocheted look with cardigans has been really cute gives me very 70s feels and then also i got this really cool pair of they look like go-go boots from h&m but i think they're the coolest look i think this one i haven't been seeing as much but when i was researching all the trends for fall i kept seeing 70s so i think these boots will come in handy a lot and a platform kind of boot especially for someone who's not very tall like me just really help really helps me out i didn't realize how many trends i wrote down so i until i started talking but the next one i wrote down is leather and different colored leather so obviously leather is always in for fall and winter last year i got this really cool like leather blazer and i can't wait to whip that out again this year because i've been seeing that everywhere and then also like that shiny leather and colored leather so doing different things i think i mentioned this in a different video maybe my not my spring i don't know anyways but colored leather has been really cool um and even matching like a blazer or a leather jacket or like a colored leather leather oh my gosh i can't talk um, or even matching a leather jacket with matching leather pants and making it kind of like a suit. I've seen a lot and just looks so cool. I need to get my hands on one. Last but not least, this one is carrying from spring and summer into the fall and winter, but it's everyday lingerie. So we've been seeing this for a while. So you have like the bra tops that you could put a blazer or a leather jacket over. Um, and then also those like lingerie looking slip dresses. So you have mini ones and then the mini ones are still really cute. And how you would transition this from spring and summer is obviously just put a jacket over it so yeah i've been seeing that a lot too and i think and that'll definitely be a trend that carries into the fall and the winter all right you guys that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions or comments or video suggestions always leave those down below for me i love reading y'all's comments um and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my upcoming haul videos and i love you guys so much i will see you next time bye